Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make these beautiful butterflies for your projects. Any projects, we will go through how to make them, we will go through different variations. You know how many layers you can do and how you can embellish them. And I kind of went a little bit crazy and made a little booklet as well using the same principle. It's really, really quite easy to make these and it's a great scrap busting project. So maybe not for these, but these little bits here, you know, you've got lots of these offcuts laying around so this is a perfect project for that i think it adds so much beauty to to any anything that you're making so a card making or journals you can see straight away how much character it adds to a page so i saw this idea from amity bloom i will link her video down below and without further ado let's get into the tutorial Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is choose the papers we're going to use. I'm going to go into my scrap little folder that I've got over here. And I'm going to choose two or three pieces of paper that go well together. So it's up to you if you want to layer with just two or if you want to do three. Like here I've got three. You can use book pages, vellum paper, scrapbook paper, anything you've got. But I think I'm going to try and choose something from here. Maybe I can even just do use these two. And maybe even I can do a third layer. I'll see. So, okay, so we're always starting from smallest to largest. So I'm going to start with this one because I want this one to be my first layer. I'm just going to fold this piece of paper. And I'm going to draw on the wrong side so that you can't see any outlines on that side. So now I'm going to draw a heart shape. And I will attempt to have it equal on both sides and I'm not I don't want the bottoms here to meet you can see over here how the heart doesn't meet that's very important you have to leave that space and now I'm just simply going to cut around this is such a simple little easy project that you can do and you can take it in so many different ways and have a lot of fun with it you can use all different types of materials it doesn't even have to be paper you can use plastic packaging from plastic bags and cereal bags and all that kind of stuff so there's my first shape now I'm going to tr use this to get my next size up so I'm doing three I've done the first layer now I'm going to do the next size up and I want this side to be my next size up so I'm going to make that fold. So now this will be kind of like my template and I'm just going to draw, kind of follow that shape, I guess, and draw another heart shape. It's a little bit difficult doing this standing up, but you get the idea and that's the most important thing. And by all means, you can make templates in advance. Okay, so that's looking all right. I could stop there and call that done, but I want to do a third layer. So now for the third layer, I'm using this size as my template. I'm going to fold here and then use this and then draw around and then cut around. And let's see how this looks. Okay, there we go. That's the, the basics of it. So. So now I'm just going to ink the edges. That gives it a nice finished edge. And so what I like to do now before I decorate, I just like to apply a tiny little bit of glue just in the middle here to hold my butterfly together. So just a little blob of glue like that. And then if I decide to put it through my sewing machine, uh, it's going to sort of stay in place when I'm sewing. And also another thing that if you want your little things to kind of have that, you know, you want that to be part of your butterfly, the, the fact that the link, wings can lift, then I would go ahead and erase these markings here. Okay, so that looks okay as it is. So now you can really take this to, you know, however far you want. You can embellish the wings and add little things around and all sorts of stuff. You can simply just sew right through. So you can see on some of them, I've simply added a bread and I really like that look as well. So no sewing. On some of them, I've added these little strips to kind of give it more of that uh, butterfly shape. 
some I've just simply added little brads at the back and this is I can simply you know do this and then attach it to my project on whatever I'm using so that's one reason I like the brads so I've just done you know different types of things so this is where you can just have a play with your imagination and see what you can do so with this one I might do the strip just so you can sort of see the process I guess so this is where our offcuts from our 12 by 12 sheets of paper comes in nicely so let's see I'm just gonna see what kind of looks okay I think they all you know look go quite well I really like this one but I think I want to uh, I'm gonna use this one because I feel like using a brad as well in the center so now what I do because this can get a little bit fiddly I am just going to fold that here and then I can always adjust and cut off the extra that I don't need later. So I'm just going to trim it off here. Now you can put that through the sewing machine straight away, but I find that this sometimes moves and then ruins the, you know, the effect. It's crooked. So what I like to do is just put a little bit of glue stick on this. And now I'm just going to add, a, just run it over the top of my glue stick. And I mean, you can just end with this. You don't have to put it through a sewing machine or anything like that. So uh, in which case I would use something stronger than a glue stick. And just want to make sure that it's nice and straight and centered. And now I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and just sew just one line, straight stitch, like you can see on these ones. Just a straight stitch with my sewing machine. And I'm back and I decided that I don't really need to do a straight stitch so I did a zigzag just to see how it's going to look. But I want to add another little something in the center. You can, you know, add a little button or a, you've seen the brads and this one is just a little sticker. So, you know, whatever your imagination sort of leads you. You can see here I did this pearl, uh, I'm not even sure what it's called, pearl little sticker thing and then here are these three stickers just anything really that goes on there is going to look really cute this is such a cool scrap busting project you can get rid of all of those scraps and we know we love projects like that and we know we've got all of those scraps that we need to get rid of so the main thing is to get these butterflies make some and don't dwell too much on what to use like I was now need to make a bigger hole. I was looking at my brads thinking should I use this one or should I use this one and sometimes I get lost in the details. And here we go it's quite cute I think so let's see how we can use these in our projects. Actually before I continue I just wanted to speak about this just for a moment. So now that you know how to make them and how you're layering them I, I think you can see sort of how this was done but let me just walk you through it. Okay, so the first thing I did, this was just me uh, trying it out to see how it looks. So I used some scrap paper and I cut out some shapes. Just like we did this one, we've done three layers. But what I did for this one is I did five layers and I started off with much bigger shapes. That's all it is, right? Makes perfect sense. So you always start off with your small shape, so then you can draw the larger ones around it because you want to have the same sort of well you may not want to have the same sort of wing I guess you can have a completely different shapes and that's fine too but this is how I did it so I used some scrap paper I drew some shapes and then I used that one to draw, to draw the large one and so on and so forth until I had I know you can't really see but I had five shapes and then what I did is I used these as my templates so that's why these two are exactly the same pretty much exactly the same you can see because I was using these as my templates so what I did I have some leftovers here I used some different colored uh, different sort of tones of tea dyed paper and coffee dyed paper just to add interest this one here the pinkish one is avocado dyed paper see that beautiful pink effect and that's avocado dyed and, and then tea dyed and coffee dyed and maybe even some onion skin dyed I've used onion skin as well so it's really nice to have different shades of paper and then you can also add things like scrapbook paper like this would go really well you can use book pages or you know you the, you can take it any way you want 
and then I simply did exactly the same thing that I did for this one here so I would fold my paper and then place my template here sort of draw around cut around and then I had my first heart here and then I would do the next next shape and then the next shape and so on so then once I've had them all in order and I made sure that all of my middle creases align over here made sure that everything is centered so that I have the exact same space in between them and then I simply put it through my sewing machine so we can have a booklet that looks like this but but this shape reminds me of a butt <laughs> so <laughs> now that you see it you can't unsee it so I made the decision to have the booklet open this way and I think it looks really quite cute and I think it will look great once it's you know filled with a lot of writing look at this it's really quite cute and there's actually quite a lot of writing space here you can even embellish the middle here you can have something like this in the middle you can leave it open like this I mean it can go uh, any way that your imagination can take you you can do whatever you wish with these and over here I just did a little bit of a collage just to you know make that front cover pretty and there you have it this one here I stitched two together so that can be that can look quite cute on a page or you can do a whole thing right and have it hanging in your craft room you can do that you just simply put it through your sewing machine leave a little bit of space put in the next one and just keep going I think that would look really really cute decoration for you know birthday parties things like that so of course you know as I make love to make and use junk journals I think my first thought was you know this would look really cool on any page in a junk journal look at this just I opened any page and picked up any flower and it just I mean butterfly and it looks cool you can sort of glue the bottom portion down and then sitting on my desk I made it last night you can tuck something in oh it's got a ruffle so it's not really working but it can be a tuck for a pocket something like this maybe that one's too busy Here's another thing I made last night, a little notebook in there. Look how cool that looks. I mean, when you're looking at most embellishments that we make, when you're looking at it like this, it's really no big deal. But once you add it to a piece of work that you're making, that you're making uh, either be it a journal or a card or anything really that you're doing, it makes such a huge difference. Like, for example, I just placed it on top of a white card. So something like this, you can round the corners, you can ink the edges. And because I've used a brad on this one, if you pop it through the card, you can send it in a happy mail or, you know, to a friend, whatever, you know, and they can use it in their projects. It can be easily removed from the card. Or for card making, for example, something like this, maybe... Maybe that's not the best one. Something like this. This one's a little bit big, but you know, I think you get the picture. Like anything that you put on there, it looks cute. And then you can have a little message up the top. Happy birthday. Uh, you know, decorate the middle. Play around with all of your off cuts and just make cool, cute things, right? I think the idea is to have a sesh, make a whole heap, and then you've got them to go in your journals. Another thing I just thought of, this is from uh, some type of a catalogue. So if you have something like this, pop this on top, and you have a belly band that can go into a journal. Let's have a look. Let's get any page. This one's got something on it, but just for demonstration purposes, if you, you know, ink the edges over here, make it look pretty, glue it down here, and then you have, kind of hard to do this when things are not glued in, a belly band. And maybe something that's a bit more flat than this. And, you know, a perfect little embellishment for our journals. I simply love it. I hope you guys like it too. I hope you feel inspired. I think the thing with this uh, sort of thing is you just need to start making. And then in the process of making, you're going to be coming up with ideas. You don't have to know anything in advance. You just start putting some papers together and then you start thinking, oh, maybe I can stitch them together. Maybe I can do a bread instead of, you know, this strip of paper. Maybe I can make a booklet. That's how it happened for me. When I started, I simply was going to 
make I think this might have been my first one and then I made the second one and the third one and then the ideas started coming and they're still coming but I really wanted to film this video and get it out I hope you guys feel inspired please let me know what you think down in the comments below check out Amity Bloom's video as well I'm going to pop it down below thanks so much for being here with me today and I will see you in my next video bye